In this video, you will learn how to install OpenCV library for a Python project in PyCharm IDE. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. So first of all, we will open that Python project in PyCharm for which we want to install OpenCV library. For me, I wanted to install in this Hello World project. So I have opened this particular project in PyCharm. Now to install OpenCV, first we will click on this file here. Then go to this new project setup. And here we will click on this settings for new projects. Here we will click on this python interpreter. And now you would see this drop down here where all the interpreters are listed which are available in our system. So from this drop down we will select the correct python interpreter for which we want to install OpenCV. For me the correct interpreter is this one which is present inside this hello world project. So I will select this particular interpreter here. The selection of interpreter is very important here because if you select the incorrect interpreter then you won't be able to use this OpenCV properly in your python projects and it will give you errors when you will try to import the CV2 module and as soon as we select the interpreter from this drop down it will list down all the packages here that are already installed for this selected python interpreter. So for me currently it is showing only pip and setup tools these two libraries because I have only these two libraries installed in the selected interpreter. Now we will click on this plus icon here which will open up this new window of available packages. Now to install OpenCV we will search for OpenCV python in this search box. So this is the one we will select this and click on this install package which will install this particular version which is 4.10.0 which is the latest one and once this is installed we will see this type of message here package opencv python installed successfully now we can close this window from here and here we will see this opencv package along with the numpy package because opencv is dependent on numpy so numpy also got installed automatically along with the opencv now we will click on this ok now it's time to verify the installation of OpenCV whether this OpenCV library is installed properly or not and for that we will write couple of lines of python code here. So first we will create an empty python file and for that we will click on this file then new and here we will select this python file. Now we will give the name of the file so let's say it is hello and now we will double click on this python file. So this will create this hello.py file for us. Now in this file first we will import cv2 module so we will write import cv2 and do pay attention here that we are importing cv2 not the opencv because opencv is the entire library which is available for multiple programming languages and platforms but this cv2 is a module which is built specifically for python and we use cv2 to access opencv functionalities in python scripts. So actually this cv2 module provides an interface which makes it easier to communicate with opencv library using the python syntax. So that's why we are importing the cv2 library instead of opencv here. Now we will write a small python code which will read this particular image this logo.png and then it would display that in a window. So to read the image we will use imread function. So we will write cv2.imread. And we will keep this image in the image variable so we will assign that and now in this function we will pass the name of the file which is the logo.png for us now we will create a GUI window on which this particular image will be shown and for that we will use the im show function so we will write cv2 dot im show now in this function we will pass the title of the window so let's give the title as logo window and as the second parameter we will pass the image variable which is img in our case. Now we want our window to keep displaying so for that we will use the wait key function. So we will write cv2 dot wait key and in this function we will provide the time for which we want our window to be displayed and the time which we are going to pass will be in milliseconds. 
so let's say we want it to hold for 5 seconds so we will pass 5000 in this function and at last when our program terminates we want to close all the opened GUI windows so we will write cv2 dot destroy all windows so now it's time to run the code and for that we will right click and run hello so the code ran successfully and we can see the image in a GUI window and you noticed that after 5 seconds the window got closed automatically and the program exited successfully here now let's say we want to keep the window open until we explicitly close that so for that we will pass 0 as parameter in this wait key function now let's run the program again so right click and say run hello so again we have got this window and also you can see the window name which we had given as the title now this window will get closed if we terminate the program from here or it will be closed even if we press any key on the keyboard so for example if i press the return or the enter key now the window is closed also the program exited successfully with the exit code 0 so let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button